We're in for one extremely intense competition tonight. Three professional athletes, two of them retired, battling out to see who is the strongest. I think Odin is looking really strong today, I don't know. It'll be a fight till the end. I actually think I'm going to win. Uh, I've been feeling strong. I think this is the first work ball I've seen in Norway. It's a very small one, it's like for kids, but we should see who can go up it without using hands at all and go into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it will be painful? Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. so. <laughs> you have to be like a baby seal jumping yeah. into the <laughs> What's it called when you get the when you climb the first try? Uh, flash. Flash. Yeah. Don't do the flash. <laughs> I like the view of the snowline. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try a different challenge though. This is the, um, the impossible push-up. I've done this before, but we're gonna do a more difficult version of it. Because I've seen this challenge uh, on Instagram from uh, Vadim uh, Timonov, the Russian guy, really strong. This is the best time to try it, because now we have the adventures team. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you have the best chance of doing this. It looks really hard. Yeah, we should just start with uh, just... Uh, yeah, just normal. I've seen different versions of this. Some people go all the way down to touch the chest. I guess that's the best style. And also, I guess you can't keep your hand like this. And also, yeah, the legs, how far your legs are. If they're, if they're together, then it makes it much diff more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <I did. laughs> yeah, nice. That was easy. Yeah, surprising. Yeah. Okay, I, I can be the only one. Nice. Yeah. How was that? No, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Should be possible. Yeah. So how is it? Is it like Just, this? Yeah, it's kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think maybe you have to put it on your heel. Like on, on your Achilles heel. Like this? Yeah. I think. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah! Nice! <laughs> Whoa, shit. Shit. How was it? Oh, it's not that much harder, actually. It's just, it's really painful here. <laughs> yeah. That gives him an advantage because he, he doesn't have any feelings in his leg. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> like this? Yeah, like yeah. that. The hardest part is almost just getting up. Yeah. This is really... <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> That's good, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Cancel <laughs> I think. I oh. think it counts. <laughs> this sucks when everybody has done it. Uh, uh, it's like big suspense on me. Come on. Yeah! <sighs> nice. Oh! <laughs> it's painful, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, no. oh. <laughs> I thought we wouldn't be able to do that, but we yeah. all did. So we made up this uh, challenge. We're gonna start with 40 burpees. You're pretty good at burpees, right? Yeah, I should be. So that should give you a little head start. And then? We're gonna do the handstand walk. Handstand walk. If you fall, you have to continue from where you fell all the way until your hands are across this. Yeah, then you get the weights, 20 kilograms. And then you do uh, uh, jumping lunges. And, then, what and then over to this one. This is actually fun. But I think we'll be pretty tired after that one yeah. and everything. So we have to stand behind the line. This is six kilos. And it has to go over there. <laughs> if you make it both times, then you continue to the climbing. If you don't make it, you have to do extra, what do you call them? Jumping lunges. If you miss one, you have to do five. And if you miss two, you have to do 10 extra. Yep. And then you start the climbing. And the climbing is pretty easy. So you have to start with one hand on the edge and you traverse all the way to the other side. Uh, so the winner takes the prize. 
uh, at the end. But there's a prize involved. Yeah. Changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of honor too. Yeah, of course, especially. <laughs> These are actually sold out, so that makes them even more exclusive now. Okay, so I put it here. Yeah. And also if you fall in the wall, you continue from that hold. I'm gonna use my wrestling in the wall. <laughs> yeah. Marcus comes Kicking. up, I'll just try to <laughs> get him down. Little warm up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Who do you think is uh, gonna win? I think Odin is looking really strong today, I don't know. Uh, when I woke up today, I had a pretty bad feeling. Andreas has given me weird looks all day, so I think he's gonna be pretty hard to beat as well, but. I actually think I'm gonna win. Uh, I've been feeling strong and uh, uh, I've actually been climbing a lot in secret. Uh, Magnus doesn't know this. It'll be a fight till the end. We're in for one extremely intense competition tonight. Three professional athletes, two of them retired, battling out to see who is the strongest. But first, a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Raycon once again. These are the Everyday E25 earbuds. They're doing things differently than other brands out there from the way they design their products to the way they price them. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems. There's no way they're gonna fall out of my ear. I can shake my head all I want. So Raycon earbuds give you up to six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for a comfortable, noise isolating fit. I use these not only to listen to music, but also when I listen to podcasts, when I just want to zone out and uh, not have to watch the screen. So uh, please check them out, either by going to the link in the description or you go to buyraycon.com forward slash magnet. Now let's get back to the competition. An MMA fighter, a gymnast, and a climber. Now, who do we think will get through this extremely demanding obstacle course the fastest? Because of the handstand, I don't want my shirt getting in my, yeah. on my head, so I'm gonna but go... If you get shirt. this t-shirt from uh, Gymshark, it yeah. stays on there. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. Andreas has done numerous burpees in his career and has seemed very confident prior to this event. Looks like all three are pretty even so far, but you can see they're all starting to slow down. 20 burpees completed, halfway now. Now we'll really see who has the most endurance out of these athletes. On the other hand, it might be smart to pace themselves for the handstand walk. Magnus is finished and so is Odin. It looks like Magnus needs a second to collect himself. Look at Odin go. Odin is not handstand walking. He's running. Andreas has also finished his burpees. Now let's see if they've paced themselves enough to make it over to the other side without spending too much time. This does not look too good. And there, Odin has finished his handstand morning run. Magnus and Andreas are really struggling in the background. This will cost them time. This is like half my weight. Now 40 jumping lunges with 20 kilos added weight. The first few repetitions of this will feel okay, but then they'll have to start digging deep. Every single muscle will hurt. Odin basically ran through that handstand walk and didn't get too much rest after the burpees. Jumping lunges target many of the same muscles, so he's definitely gonna feel it. He's about halfway as Magnus and Andreas finish their handstand walk, or more like handstand stumble. Ha! Ah, have you huh? This should suit Andreas, who is a little bigger. He needs to save some time here to have any chance of winning. If they let Odin get too far ahead here, they'll have no chance of catching up. But the last stage is a climbing wall traverse, which will obviously favor the climber. So let's see. It's easy. 
Odin is finished. Now how's his throwing skills? This ball is six kilos and that bar is about five meters above ground. This is extremely difficult when you're already exhausted. Has he saved enough energy to make those throws? It's no, it's a fail. You can't get much closer than that. Can he make the second throw? No, it's another fail. That means he's got to do another 10 jumping lunges. Magnus has finished and so is Andreas, but he's a couple of seconds too late. Now he needs to wait for Magnus to finish his two throws. This line here, right? Yeah. That's a miss. Odin is finished and moves towards the last obstacle. If Magnus doesn't make his second throw now, Odin will have a huge head start on the climbing. And that's another miss, not even close. That means he's also got to do another 10. Now it's Andreas' turn. Let's see how the heavyweight fighter will do. Odin is taking his time putting on his climbing shoes, as you can see in the background, easily. Andreas makes that ball look like a little volleyball. That'll save him some time and energy. Odin has started his climb. And he makes the second throw look just as easy. What a beast. Now he can run straight to the climbing wall. And it looks like Magnus will be the last to get on the wall. But for an ex-professional climber, that wall traverse should be a piece of cake. This will be extremely close. There's a lot of heavy breathing going on. It's so much fun. It's been a while since I yeah, man. tasted blood. These guys are definitely exhausted by now. And that can change everything. It looks like the climbing wall is causing Odin more trouble than he was hoping for. And there goes Andreas. Watch out for Magnus though, he's gonna come flying. Magnus starts his climb. Looks like he forgot his chalk bag. That's unusual. He passes Andreas. Odin is soon past the steepest part and might be able to pick up some speed. But can he keep up with Magnus's speed on the climbing wall? That's doubtful. Magnus moves elegantly past Odin as well. Odin and Andreas fall both at the same time. This quickly turned into a competition for second place between the two of them. Andreas should have pulled Magnus off the wall while he had the chance. There's nothing to do about it now, unless something incredible happens. Like if you ran out of chalk or something. <laughs> you have a pretty big lead now, Magnus. Yeah. Even climbing is hard now. Magnus got through in 6 minutes and 23 seconds. Now it's between Odin and Andreas. They both look exhausted, especially the forearms must be hurting at this point. It looks like Odin is climbing slightly faster. I can chill a little bit. <laughs> this is so hard. Biggest obstacle of them all. keep falling off. Both are staying low to the wall to make it easier to get started again after falling off. That's smart. That's the worst thing I've done in a while. I actually had no idea the climbing was going to be that hard. I'll just sit down. Eight minutes and 57 seconds. Odin climbs into second place. My forearms. You can have this, you're the winner. I forgot we have to climb. <laughs> I thought this wall was like, there's so many choices. Yeah. That some of them would be easy. All the choices are hard though. Yeah, you know. Ah, oh, my hands are not fresh right now. <laughs> cool experience to climb with such a high pulse or heart rate. I don't think I've ever done it like this before. So it's a, it's a good, uh, Good reminder to stay in shape. Yeah. 
Just a few more moves now, Andreas. And this time it's 14 minutes and 4 seconds. Uh, I think I have asthma now. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. But I feel like it is completely unfair. Odin, you got first to the climbing and you also got here a first. Huge advantage with the headset. Yeah, yeah, but you also, also you, you uh, Andreas, you beat me to the climbing, so I think you guys this did much. way better. I don't know if I've ever had a, like a pump like, like that. that. Yeah. Especially like, I tried to tell my, my hands to do something. <laughs> they wouldn't do it, so I had to get li li these weird grips. I yeah. saw Odin, did, uh, he wrapped yeah. the balls like this too. And then he held like, like that. Let's use the bicep and just <laughs> chill there for bicep a second. Right. For me, it was almost worst after. Yeah. Because I got down after I was finished and I just was, like it started like building up in my lungs. <laughs> yeah. And often, I think often when you're this tired, it, you feel like you're doing really good. Yeah. Then you see the video and it's just awful. Awesome. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> because you did the whole wall in one, one take. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think did I, he uh, climb over you? <laughs> no, I climbed over both of you. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I remember I, just, I, I blacked I out. I foot just like right there. And, and that was the trick in the beginning, because I told you guys, stay low so oh, that yeah, if yeah, you yeah. fall, you, you can get back <laughs> on the one. That was just so I knew that you both be low and I could go high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And actually, after climbing uh, all the way to the end, when I jumped down, mm. my, my legs <laughs> yeah. collapsed. I was like, Bruh. <laughs> For me, the, the handstand was worst. Because yeah. uh, my arms were tired from the burpees, and then uh, it felt like they were gonna <laughs> collapse. collapse anytime. You know? <laughs> we're probably gonna look like two idiots in the background. I haven't done a lot of burpees either, but I, I, I bounced on my chest. I don't know if you do the same. And you started so fast. I started way too crazy. It was like three, two, one, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna. And yeah. Then, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> but he, he was telling him, yeah, I'm pretty good at burpees. Yeah. <laughs> and when I did five, I was like, okay, maybe a bit too fast. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried to find your tempo yeah. and do the same with uh, like you. A good yeah. competition, because I think... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, the, the climbing was too hard. Yeah, but uh, yeah, too long. other than that, it was exciting till the climbing wall. Yeah, so it was. It was a good competition. If it had only been like one third of the yeah, climbing, yeah, yeah. then mm. it would have been very even yeah, and a fair competition. But uh, I think we're broken now, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna end the video. Uh, make sure you check out Odin on Instagram, Andreas on Instagram. Odin also has a YouTube channel, it's in Norwegian, but they're extremely good at um, doing subtitles, so uh, check it out. Also make sure to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing us suffer, and uh, we will uh, see you in the next one.